Soybean oil finds extensive use in paints and in the manufacture of linoleum. The cracked beans are fed to these expellers after they have been heated in these steam pipes to about 200 degrees. The cracked soybeans then enter these cylinders and are subjected to a pressure of about 16,000 pounds per square inch. The great pressure, with the help of the high temperature, forces the oil out of the beans. The oil from all the expellers is next forced through this large filter to remove sediment. The crystal clear oil drips out along the side of the filter. Many industrial chemists are working to find new uses for soybean oil and soybean meal. This chemist, Dr. Brother, is striving to improve a process by which the soybean meal is made into a hard and strong plastic. After long and tedious labor in the research laboratory, he may discover new procedures or new products which the engineering chemist can put into large-scale production. The chemist pours the soybean meal into this mechanical mixer. Then it is transferred to these rollers, which mix the soybean meal with the other ingredients that go into the manufacture of plastics. Before casting the mixture into a plastic, the chemist tests it in this machine, which is called a flow tester. This curve indicates the plasticity of the mixture, or dough, under increasing pressure. The chemist also inspects the piece, but he uses asbestos gloves because the pressure has made it hot. Having passed the test, the mixture is reduced to a powder and poured into this mold, which will determine the shape of the finished object. The mold is then placed in this hydraulic press. Here, the soybean meal is welded under a pressure of about 2,000 pounds per square inch and at a temperature of more than 300 degrees. In this way, the soybean is transformed by science and technology into parts that find many everyday uses.